Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to our to the last day of the talk series of Art Fair Philippines. Uh, just some guidelines for uh, the the talks. Uh, 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 please read the the information flashed in front of you. Uh, we'd like to thank our education partners, Ateneo Art Gallery, Museum Foundation of the Philippines, and the Embassy of Spain in the Philippines. Uh, the, the session for today is mediated message, messages featuring Ace Ong, Johanna Helmuth, Melvin Burham, Kian Cariel, a discussion with Boots Herrera and Norman Crisologo. I'd like to introduce the moderator for this afternoon session, uh, Boots Herrera, who has been the uh, Chief Curator and Director of the Ateneo Art Gallery for the past seven years. Thank you, Boots, for being with us in the session today. Hi, thank you, uh, Din Din, and good afternoon to everyone. Uh, welcome to the second panel focusing on the four out of eight featured artists in this year's Art Fair projects curated by Norman Crisologo. Um, art making is a constant process of mediation between the real and the imagined, the abstract and the symbolic. And this is very evident in the works of these four artists who traversed through their lived realities and conveyed them into woven, mended, constructed and painted forms. So to introduce, um, well, we are also joined, of course, by Norman Crisologo who uh, is the guest curator for the Art Fair PH projects. I think this is his second year of working, collaborating with Art Fair Philippines. Um, the featured artists for this afternoon, uh, to introduce them, um, Ace Ong is a Filipino contemporary visual artist working with fiber, whose artistic praxis ranges from installation to performance. She learned to crochet left-handed while taking classes at Assumption College, where she attained a Bachelor of Communications major in media production. In 1999, she volunteered for the Associate Missionaries of the Assumption and taught at Xavier de... Uh, what's this? Um, Savior School High School in Lantapan, Bukidnon, where most of her students belong to the Talaandig tribe. This continues to inspire her creative process. Ace received, uh, was one of the recipients of the 2016 Asia Cultural Council Fellowship and has an extensive portfolio that includes exhibitions in important museums and galleries here in Manila, Singapore, South Korea, Japan, Abu Dhabi, Saudi Arabia, Canada, Kenya, and the U.S. She recently had her artist, artist residency at the Bliss on Bliss Art Projects in New York for her rolling sculpture entitled Queen, wherein she walked with this, within the streets of Queens and Manhattan. She also exhibited in the recently concluded IC. PD25 in the Nairobi Summit of the UNFPA in Kenya. Our next featured artist is Johanna Helmut. Uh, sorry, tama ba yung ano? Okay. Uh, so Johanna Helmut um, highlights the beauty of imperfection through paintings that reflect on human behavior and social values. Born in 1992, she started painting for school projects at the TUP. After graduating with a degree of fine arts in advertising, in 2014, she became a full-time artist with her first solo show, This Figure, exhibited at the Ayala Museum Artist Space in 2016. Most of Helmut's references are based on real-life events executed in a striking manner using photography as the basis. Helmut has been expanding her artistic repertoire through experimentations with mediums, such as installations using fabrics and dressing. Johanna received the Fernando Sobel Prizes for 
Prize for Visual Art of the Ateneo Art Awards in 2018 and was granted a residency that has yet to be completed with Artisan Gallery Studio in Singapore. Also joining us this afternoon is Melvin Girhem, a visual artist who hails from Oton, Iloilo. Uh, he is a mixed media artist who uses fabric, thread, and paints. He was a regional winner in the Philippine Art Awards in 2013, a finalist in the Metrobank National Art Competition the same year, and a finalist in the Philippine Art Awards um, also uh, in, in the following year, 2014. He eventually won a grand prize in the Philippine Art Awards in 2020. His solo and group exhibitions uh, have been, he has joined solo, uh, group and held solo exhibitions in local and um, uh, galleries abroad and was chosen as one of the 100 contemporary artists of the Philippines by Imago Mundi Art Collection in Italy. His works depicts the positive and negative side of human existence and the conflicting drama of life. And the fourth artist joining us this afternoon is Tiang Cariels. Cariel, um, her background is in graphic design and illustration, which plays a big role in her visual language, blended with folk art and influenced by Filipino pop culture toys and the 80s and 90s sculpt films and comics. Her work satirically tackles people's love of food and the nostalgia for familiar brands. Being drawn to ephemeral consumerism and the, and the aesthetic errors that come with mass production cycles, she absorbs its vis visual cues as a form of art. Exposed to her father's DIY practice of tailor making, their home, Cariel spent most of her childhood in the workshop, tinkering with his, his fa her father's equipment. When the shift to towards fine arts occurred, her innate eye for three-dimensional spacing and her affinity for wood naturally em embodied her practice. Cariel is one of the pioneer members of the street art community in the Southern Metro Manila uh, the Cavite Collective. And so we begin with the artist's presentations. Um, we'll start with um, the presentation prepared by Melvin, and then we'll proceed with Ace, and then Johanna and Tiang will join us in a conversation with Norman Crisologo, the curator. Ako po si Melvin Gerhem from Uton, Iloilo, isang uh, mixed media artist. Mostly nagamit ko po na materials, fabric, thread, acrylic, and uh, textile paint. My works mostly depicts the positive and uh, negative side of human existence, conflicting drama of life, the cause, the effect of uh, economic uh, instability. So, bali ang ipapakita ko ngayon, mga piyesa na sa tingin ko uh, may malaking connection, malaking epekto sa akin bilang artist kasi parang personal na buhay ko at the same time parang sa tingin ko may malaki ring, ano epekto sa ibang tao. So, ang title nito is Failed Reconciliation. Ang Failed Reconciliation kasi actually ano eh, ang uh, history to ng ano, ng personal ko na no parang family ko kumbaga mga konflikto sa ano sa buhay namin kasi kami eh, eh, every year eh, christmas season ang nakakatanda ko kapatid nagpatawag kami ng ano ng family gathering every christmas so yun pinag-uusap-usapan namin ang mga mga bagay-bagay na hindi namin pagkakaintindihan mga conflict namin sa mga sa isa't isa pinag-uusapan namin trying to resolve kung ano may mga problema na na napapagitna sa aming sa aming mga kapatid and also sa parents namin. Kahit anong pilit namin gawin na i-reconcile ang mga pagkamili or pag-usapan ang mga pinag ng bawat isa, parang ang hirap-hirap pa rin 
na ano na magkakaintindihan dito sa trabaho nito parang kung titingnan mo parang isa kaming perfect na family na nasa isang malaking ano picture pero kung titingnan mo parang walang connection eh walang contact ayong expression ng bawat isa parang wala walang feelings and also yung nung kung titingnan mo yung yung Christmas tree dapat kung Christmas di ba dapat makulay yung paligid natin uh, maraming Christmas light makulay yung Christmas tree pat kung titingnan mo yung Christmas tree parang walang buhay walang kinang and also yung ang yung setting ng trabaho ko is gabi yung parang Christmas talaga sa siya pat kung titingnan mo parang napakadal napakadilim ng ano ng 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 background so parang hindi mo masasabi o ma-feel na parang Christmas siya na masaya siya and also kung titingnan yung ano yung nasa background yung scaffoldings oh nagsimbolasyon na ano na structure ng bahay anytime parang masisira siya yo yung scaffolding structure which is yung bahay namin in relation namin bilang pamilya which is try nga Uh, pilit namin ano ibubuuin bawat Christmas season. So yun, yung tao na sa background kasi ko yun bilang artist. No? So sa amin kasi ako yung parang positive palagi na tinitingnan yung sitwasyon and trying to resolve kung ano may yung mga problema. At the same time, yun ako yung parang nagpapasa ng cross at this na nagiging isang malaking uh, structure or support sa buhay namin na kahit anong gawin handa akong magsakripisyo at pasanin yung cross para lang hindi masira yung ano yung buhay namin yung family namin at the same time hawak-hawak ko yung paniniwala na yung balang araw magiging maayos rin ang relasyon namin bilang mag magkakapamilya magkakapatid Parang ano, parang isa siyang malaking intablado ng buhay ko na na binuksan ko sa publiko. Pala yung next ko na piyesa na ipapakita is parang isang major piece ko na rin sa ano, sa solo show ko dati sa ano, sa in, sa Limuot, sa Eskinita Gallery. So, kung titingnan mo ang piyesa na to, parang kadugtong pa rin ng ano, dati ng ano, failed reconciliation. So, ang title nito is Intablado. <coughs> Intablado kasi tinitingnan ko yung yung buhay nating mga tao is parang nasa isa tayong malaking palabas no parang tayong nasa isang intablado na ang bawat isa sa atin is may kanya-kanyang uh, karakter, mayroon kanya-kanyang role na ginagampanan no masama man yan, mabuti, mahirap, nakakatulong sa kapwa natin o nakasisira sa kapwa natin no dito sa pyesa kong ito makita natin yung lalaki at sa kababae No. So kumbaga tayo yun nirepresenta na ng ano ng kapwa natin tao, laki, ubay ka man. No. So kumbaga dito sa kansa entablado ito no, kumbaga silang dalawa is uh, parang dinadjudge sila. Uh, kumbaga uh, based sa kanilang act, sa kanilang role ng ginagampanan no. O, kumbaga nagiging judgmental yung society no. Kumbaga, sa part naman nila, titingnan mo, ilalagay mo sa magkakaibigan, mag-asawa, mag-partner, magkapamilya. So, kumbaga, kahit anong atake sa kanila, sa entabladong ginagalawa nila, kung nakikita mo, nagtutulungan pa rin sila. No? Yung makita mo yung babae na pilit niyang sinasalo yung lalaki, o, tinatahe kung ano man ang mga uh, pagkatao ng lalaki na nawala o nasisira. Yo, kumbaga, kahit ano mangyari, uh, nagtutulungan sila no, uh, counter act sa kung ano ang tingin sa kanila ng mga nanonood or uh, tao sa ano sa paligid nila. Uh, ang kabuuan nito noon parang ano eh, kahit sa anong hirap or kahit na anong tingin ng ibang tao or kahit anong sabihin ng tao. Pero kung alam niyo na tama yung role na ginagampanan niyo, yung karakter na ginagampanan niyo, pilit at pilit niyo pa rin ano, uh, gagawin niyo ng tama. So kumbaga, walang makaka-apekto sa inyo. Kung baga, walang makakasira sa karakter or uh, role na dapat nyong gampanan. So, yun. Yun ang, ang pinaka-istorya nun sa Intablado. At ang next ko naman ano, na pyesa na ipapakita is, uh, actually, dalawa to. Yung una is Tigbatas. Yung sa dialecto namin sa ano, uh, Visayas. No? Tigbatas, ibig sabihin is, is sacrificing or sacrifices. 
Tapos yung isa is life seekers. No? Kaya ko sila ano, pinagsamang dalawa kasi pareho sa lang may connection. Yung connection yung trabaho. Tigbatas kasi yung konsepto nun is ano eh, para dun sa mga taong ano, breadwinner ng family. Yung mga taong nagpapakahirap sa kanilang sarili para mabuhay yung iba. Yung tipong gagawin mong lahat, hirap, pagod, lahat ng sakripisyo, pinagdadaanan para sa pamilya. Tipong ibubuhay mo pati yung buhay mo, yung sarili mong dugo, ialay mo para lang sa ikabubuhay ng iba. Yung pamilya mo, yung kapatid mo, yung mahal mo sa buhay. Ano eh, parang yung lahat-lahat na talaga gagawin mo. Minsan, mapupunta ka sa masama or mabuti man yun. Kumbaga, lahat yun nagiging malaking ano, factor sa kanila. Nag, lahat yun nag, nagkukonek. No? Nagiging malaking impact sa buhay nila para lang yung makasurvive sila and then masurvive yung family nila. Okay. Ito naman yung pyesa ko na, ano, na Life Seekers. About naman ito sa ano sa mga taong nagtatrabaho abroad para sa family sa mga mahal nila sa buhay no makikita mo yung ano yung irony na kumbaga sila yung ano nag nagsusumikap sa ibang bayan pero kumbaga iniisip nila ang ikabubuti sa kanilang family pero in return parang iba yung ano nagiging outcome instead na mapabuti yung buhay nila parang napasamama pasama pa. Kasi t- kung titingnan mo yung babae, parang inalagaan niya yung anak ng ibang tao sa ibang country. Pero kung titingnan mo yung kabuuan dito, parang sira ang kanilang buhay. Oo nga, inalagaan mo yung anak ng ibang tao, inalagaan mo ng buti. Pero yung buhay mo naman sa sa sariling bayan, parang sira-sira. Maraming nangyayari sa ano sa family. Yung isa, yung mga anak nila uh, nakukulong, napupunta sa masamang bisyo, mga asawa nila nagluloko. Parang nagiging sayang yung ano, yung pursuit nila sa magandang buhay, sa magandang kinabukasan, bukasan para sa ano, sa family, sa ikabubuti ng family. At kung dito titingnan mo naman yung ano, isang tao na parang kung uwi tayo ng Pilipinas, iba tayo kung galing tayo sa ano, sa ibang ano, ibang bayan. Uwi tayo sa sarili natin bayan sa Pilipinas. Hindi tinitingnan yung ikaw yung personal mo eh kung ano kung anong ginawa mo sa pamilya. Yung binabantayan yung ano eh yung regalong dala mo eh. Yung kung ano yung laman ng box mo, yun yung parang nagiging ano, mas nagiging importante sa family o sa ibang tao. Ah, uh, kung anong dala mo uh, bilang nagtrabaho sa ibang bayan kasi akala nila madali ang buhay no, maraming pera din makuha no, marami. Yun, parang nagiging ganun yung irony. Tinitingnan nila based sa kung ano ang, magi, ang madadala nila dito sa ano sa sarili nilang bayan. Dito, ipinakita rin parang ano, yung yung babae, kung ano yung pursuit niya sa mag, sa sinasabi natin magandang buhay. Uh, gusto niya makamit, gusto niya mabot. Pero kung titingnan mo, parang dala-dala niya ang, ano, ang bagahe, yung hirap na uh, dinadanas niya o ginagawa niya sa ibang ano, sa ibang bahay rin sa mga amo niya. Pati tinan mo lahat ng ano nandito eh. Lahat ng ginagawa sa sa, sa loob ng bahay, paglalaba, lahat uh, kung ano yung yung literal na ano na gawain talaga na kailangan kang magsakripisyo at magpakahirap talaga. Tayo mga tao, ano talaga, likas tayo ng ano eh, parang handa tayong maghirap para sa ikabubuti ng iba, sa ikabubuhay ng ating pamilya. Pero parang napaka-unfair eh, kasi hindi na ibibigay o na ipapakita o na iparanas ang talagang nararapat sana na, ano, na kumaga, pagpapasalamat sa kung anong hirap ng tao na ginawa sa ibang, sa ibang bayan. No? Kumaga nagiging sayang lang kung titingnan natin kasi tinitingnan sa ibang paraan. Negative na, ano, na impact. Kasi parang yung misguided yung family ng tao, kala na nila dahil iniwan sila ng family nila parang walang value or walang pagpahalaga. Pero hindi, kasi yung pinaka ano na lang naman dito na tao is sa ikabubuti rin ano, ang pamilya at sa lahat. Thank you.
Hello everyone. May I greet our moderator, Ms. Boots Herrera, um, curator Norman Crisologo, as well as participating artists, Karel, Johanna, and Melvin. I'd like to start my presentation with a photo of Queen you can see on the first slide. Queen is a mobile sculpture I created in Queens, New York. I walked with it in the streets of Queens and Manhattan exploring and disrupting public spaces in 2019 for Bliss and Bliss Art Projects Residency, <clears throat> supported by a travel grant from the NCCA. Next slide, please. I also activated Queen in the direction of art historian slash curator Midori Yamamura, who saw Queen, the mobile sculpture, as a wearable art. Collaborating with musician Neptune Sweet, I performed Queen on the sidewalk of MoMA PS1 and at the Diversity Plaza, both in Queens. This was very much inspired by my fellowship for the Asian Cultural Council in New York in 2017, where I saw how anyone can use a public space as a platform for their creative efforts or even simply expressing themselves. Queen, the project gained momentum in 2019. Next slide, please. And I walked with it in the streets of Makati and Quezon City here in the Philippines. That is the first, the one you see on your screen is the first iteration of Queen, I, I entitled Queen Philippines. A uh, big problem here in the Philippines is the sidewalk. So I had to walk with it on the roadside with the cars. It was also um, the first Queen uh, was also exhibited in the Nairobi Summit on ICPD 25 Africa Asia Textile Art Exhibition entitled Fabric of Being for the United Nations Population Fund or UNFPA in Kenya. Next slide, please. Here you can see Queen, the first one, the original one, is already an installation. So right before the ECQ was implemented in 2020, my mother-in-law of 97 years old passed away. She lived a full life, she was not sick nor bedridden, but we, we all felt that it was her time. I dedicated one iteration of Queen entitled Queen Mama. Next slide, please. So you can see Queen Mama on, this, on your screens and walked with it from our house to the wake as a gesture of respect and letting go. I also incorporated her oxygen mask in my work for the Art Fair Philippines entitled Transcendence, and you can see this on the next slide. So I incorporated her oxygen mask. I got it from the hospital. <clears throat> and gaining momentum, exploring the public space and mourning for our loss, ECQ happened. Everything shifted virtually and anxiety of the uncertain times unfolded. To be able to cope up, I performed in all the corners of our house. And when every space exhausted, I climbed up our roof and performed with ambient sound as if an ascent to a mountain, mountain peak. Next slide, please. Here you can see the fourth iteration of Queen entitled Queen Azenith, now in the virtual public. This performance was very liberating for me. So as you can see, our rusty roof needed repair and paint. So Queen painted the roof. Next slide, please. I'm wearing my crown and I'm painting the roof. Not the whole day though. I climb up early at around five in the morning, start applying Vulcasil and painting on the roof for about two to three hours every day until I finish. Unfortunately, when the rainy season arrived, my work was not as effective as I thought. Pails and basins are still on our floors. So as this pandemic continues, I explored materials in the house, finding old sentimental shirts from college. And one shirt was given to me by my childhood's best friend since we were four years old. Surprisingly, it included the word wellness in it. You can see that on the next slide. It is also incorporated in Transcendence. I cut them and embroidered them in patches using a sewing machine and incorporated it by stitching. Hopefully. 2022 is a post-pandemic stage. And just this January, my grandmother of 92 years old uh, passed away. 
She's been bedridden for three years and she's now in a better place. She gave me this red and white polka dot shirt when I was in high school. Next slide, please. Cutting the shirt, I embroidered it and incorporated it in the work as well. The process of cutting probably symbolizes detachment and the mending by embroidery probably meant an attachment to the beautiful memories this very ordinary, very ordinary fabrics represent. Also during this period, I was led to a group called Love, Peace, Harmony Philippines with Master Henderson Ong as our teacher. We are not related though. He's Filipino and based in Canada. He shares the teachings of Master Zi Gong Sha, a renowned Chinese healer based in Canada. Next slide, please. This is transcendence. In these moments, I learned chanting, meditation, Tao dance, offering candles and incense to the souls to help in forgiveness and healing. Every day in the morning, I light a candle and incense, attend to my plants while chanting, and start working still chanting. During meditation with closed eyes and quiet mind, many times I reach a state, uh, a trance state, and I see golden light balls. These are the circular and spider web forms in my work. And you can see that on your screens. I am not too sure about the word spontaneous in a creative process, but intuitive and organic is what they use. I had my husband sketch for me an idea very close to my previous work entitled My Soul's Life. Next slide, please. That is My Soul's Life. I really did not have a plan or really knew how the final output of transcendence would look like as I did not have the space to install it. I remember saying we will all be surprised. During the process, I updated Norman and told him that the artwork had a life of its own. <clears throat> I myself didn't know where it is going or how it would look like. I just crochet, sew, incorporate, and somehow trust that I am guided by spirits in this universe to create it. There was a goal though, uh, since they wanted big works for the special projects, I was challenged uh, to test my physical, mental, and emotional limitations and landed on the length of approximately 40 feet and width of about 12 to 15 feet. Next slide, please. This is a medium shot of transcendence and my work for the Art Fair Philippines. During the process of creating this work, I believe I have transcended negative thoughts to positive vibrations. At first, my intent was to dedicate this work for the healing of my family. Along the way, uh, there were personal family miracles of healing that happened and eventually decided to share the healing to the audience. Next slide, please. You can see another angle of transcendence. And I believe that healing is as simple as being happy and inspired. And I hope to have transmitted positive vibrations and healing blessings through my work and help the audience in any form of healing needed at this time. Last slide, please. Thank you, Norman. Thank you, Arthur Philippines, for this opportunity to share healing to others and for bringing me back to the public space, overcoming fear and anxiety. Thank you. Thank you, Ace. Um, can I now call on uh, Johanna? To, to share um, some thoughts about her art practice and the work currently on exhibit at the Art Fair Philippines projects. Joanna? Oh, what's happening? Maybe we can have a uh, champ first. I think the kaka technical problem si ano, Joanna. Tiang, would you like to go ahead um, to, to share your your insights and and ideas with with the project? It's a, it's a very interesting project. Uh, uh, I, I saw the visitors very engaged and um, enjoying 
the the installation your work can we have chang's camera on Hello po. Magandang Sige. tanghali po sa lahat. Um, pano po? Um, ako po oh, si okay. ako po si Chang Kariel. Um, sa Art Fair Philippines, um, ang piyesa ko po na ang mga piyesa ko po na ginawa is yung um, Playtime Paradiso. So, ang interpretation ko sa Playtime Paradiso, para siyang ano eh, dinala ko yung dinala ko yung streets sa gitna ng Ayala, na kahit makulay, kahit, kahit, ano, may familiarism tayo. So, parang, pag pumasok ka sa, ano, pag pumasok ka sa, sa exhibit ko, ano siya, um, sumakto yung init, sumakto yung, yung tao. So, parang nasa palengke ka talaga. Um, hindi lang po, um, hindi lang po, Um, visual yung ginawa ko. Um, um, nag-perform din po tayo. So parang, ano siya eh, um, pampawala ng inhibition sa mga tao. Parang, um, sa curation po, um, um, halo-halo, so parang may seryoso, may, may konting hinagpis yung mga pyesa ng ating mga kapatid. Uh, so parang, um, ang gina ang nangyari po so sa akin nasa dulo po yung show ko parang may konti pong parang fiesta para po ano para po ang gusto kong ang gusto kong sabihin sa mga tao is parang ang daming nangyari sa mundo natin parang ano parang it's time na magbunyi tayo sa sa mga naranasan natin so parang para sa akin hindi lang para hindi lang sa para sa akin ang playtime para dito para sa atin po lahat. So parang sa mga nakapunta po din sa show, parang yung naka-experience po, parang ano um um ayun nga po, um sa states ko po, sa states ko nang galing yung show. So parang libro libro ko po yung paligid, parang um doon po ako nakakuha ng kulay, doon po ako nakakakuha ng na witty na na words kunwari sa mga signages sa uh, um sa mga basta kung ano yung mga naririnig ko sa ano sa paligid kunwari meron na akong narinig na nagkukuwentuhan na na nasa gilid po tapos parang nakatawa po yung narinig ko so parang na incorporate ko po sa art so so ngayon yung playtime para dito po para sa akin ano siya dream work ko siya since 2014 na nagsimula ako mag woodwork parang ano siya eh, um as a woodworker um meron po akong pangarap na gumawa ng large scale gumawa ng interactive so parang nabigyan pa ako ng pagkakataon ng art fair philippines na magawa po yung dream show ko so parang ano yun um, um sana na ano nabigyan ko ng justicia yung yung aking aking show sana um meron pong mga taong na inspire um mga co-artist ko uh, mga 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 mahilig po sa art um, parang ano po sa akin sobrang malaking bonus po sa akin na makapagpasaya ng tao so yun po um playtime para dito po uh, thank you po na ano thank you po na nabigyan po ako ng pagkakataon na mailabas yung expression ko as an artist And para pag, maging, uh, sa pagiging Pilipino po. Yun po. Thank you. Sige. Thank you, Tiang. Um, mar marami tayong kwentuhan pa mamaya. I'm sure maraming tanong. <laughs> lalo na yung mga naka, nakabisita. No? Um, sige. So, I think si Johanna is back. Um, yes, sir. Okay. Sige. You might want to, baka if you can share your, your um, insights, ideas on on the exhibit uh, work that you did and then we'll start the conversation with the other artists and with Norman. Sige. Okay, sorry the internet wala. Um nakas lalay sa lakas ng dasal is the title of my exhibition. It consists of three paintings, oil on canvas and then one installation work. 
the first painting is Back to the Beginning. Yung Back to the Beginning is a portrait of me and my best friend lying on the ground with blankets on and then a very relaxed as if we don't need anything else, as if nothing else matters as long as we were together, as long as you're beside the human that you are most comfortable with and in nature. You don't need anything else. It's, it's kind of like an, a reset. And that is the most happy state that I am. Ito yun, yung, ito yun, yung painting na to. And then, in, and around this whole show, there's always this connection between nature and my spirituality. Together, because they, they are very, you know, very much connected. Tapos, it always gives me that very you know, uh, calm state, happy state, tsaka total reset. And then the next painting that I did, yung six by five feet also, is taking over. The work is the only painting na walang human as a subject. It's a pause to take a look at the environment, tapos a reflection of one's community. Again, nature will take over and claim the land. And if we don't uh, take care of it, and if we're not cautious, that was, if you can see in the, the covered community leaders, yung post, kung saan nakalagay yung uh, barangay officials, it's covered with white blanket. And then, ano, it would be pointless to put up uh, names and be proud of a non-progressing environment or community. Kaya it's covered with a white blanket. And then everything is already been taken over by plants and there's no more humans or anyone living there. Na abandoned na siya. And then the other painting naman that I did is maybe you can hear me. Uh, it's a portrait of my sister with the yellow and white beams glowing into her face, showing her deep concentration. And her eyes that are you know, very expressive, almost na parang my desperation. Because it, it was my offering to her. Na I just wanted her to be happy and wish, her, wish all her prayers to be answered. That's why I focused on my sister for that painting. And then the installation work is praying candles. The, um, the need for installation and resin and, and this work because I didn't translate it into painting because I thought that the, the idea would be better if it was, it was in resin. And then you know, it, those praying candles started actually in an idea you know, when I was in high school. Now, every after class, I would go to the church and then offer a candle to the church and pray and thank, thank for the day or ask for his help. And that is know, my first, first approach in meditation in no, high school because it really did calm me and then it really did help me. It was my most confidence then. I was very confident that I would the prayer if I was offering those candles and he would really hear me. And the size for these resin candles, the bigger the candle that I offer, the more that the prayer will be heard or it will be, it will come true in a way. That why, that's why it's really big. And also I wanted it to be more, very, uh, one of the it's more immersive for people to mas, mas nakita, lalo na in that setting. Now we are in a park and, and very open space, very big space. And kids, you know, will also appreciate the work and understand. And one of the uh, candles there may nakalagay na, na thank you for this borrowed life. Also, kasi life itself, na, parang, and in, it's, it's also translated to the candles. Na pag naubus na yung kandila, tapos na yung life. So, 
kung makikita nyo din, may mga melted candles na paubos na, may mga nagsistart pa lang na candles na fresh pa yung, start, fresh pa yung candles, buo pa. So, everything is a reflection of life and, ano, and nature and spirituality and, and us being connected with each other and this in, and then in this world. So, very much healing din siya and a place to find your, to, to be most happy kasi we have only one life. And, uh, okay. Thank you, Johanna. Thank you. Um, more, siguro, um, questions and um, um, sharing of, of insights no later um, when we go to, to the converse, uh, the Q&A portion. But for now, uh, I'd like to call on um, Norman. Maybe um, if you'd like to say a few words and then we'll start with a question um, for you in a while. Okay. Say Hi, guys. I am so happy for this group of artists that we have um, for the mm -hmm. space this year because they're all so charming and eloquent. Because for me, because I'm I'm the I'm strange. Because I'm the art curator who doesn't actually like to talk much about art. Because for me, it's really an exercise in um, in in visuals and in the tactile part of art. I I really don't get to talk much about it because first I probably don't really explain much about it. So it's really how I feel about the art and from resulting from from the visuals. So. In this particular project space, I wanted to bring together a bunch of solo shows because basically these are all solo shows of each of these artists. And I wanted to put it all together in a group show format because I feel that that's more, it's a, it's a more natural setting to view art. Because in real life, the man, um, when you experience stuff, you're not in a box, you're not in a white cube. You see it. Um, Whatever you're looking at, you see something in your peripherals, you see something or you pass by something behind you or you know that you're walking towards something else. So every time you look at something in the real world, um, it's, it's a whole universe or a whole, um, it's a whole experience which I tried to make happen for the project space this year. So I hope you know, everyone who's watching get a chance to visit it physically because it's really much different. And today's the last day. So I mean, hope you guys get to enjoy the show and thank you very much for joining us here. So that's all good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Norman. That's uh, okay. actually, um, I, I also share your um, sentiment about this group of artists being um, very articulate with, with their ideas. Uh, parang buong buo yung concept nila no dun sa ano sa the whole uh, sa process. And um, siguro my my first question is for you no. Um, how um, and feel free to include the other artists, the, the four other artists who were featured in the first panel no. Um, how did you end up um, thinking of these artists no? Um, for for the art fair projects because uh I, if i remember the 2020 art fair projects um you also had quite an interesting selection of artists but um this year i feel the strength is not only in the um also con was con um, the, the space was contributed to the strength of of um of this year's uh, showing, no? so um, can can you share how you ended up with these, especially the the eight artists? No? Okay, first uh, I have to admit the, the the first part when I was looking for artists that I feel would be baggy for this space was first I needed artists who was relevant. Um, mm. When I say um, I hear people talking about their practice. I see them a lot, maybe in social media or in gallery. So someone who is already in the consciousness of the art going public, which I wanted the general public to see. 
So that was uh, a consideration. And of mm -hmm. course, um, having chosen a few of them, I really wanted um, artists who could have a conversation with each other, not physically, but through their art. Mm -hmm. I wanted people to, to go on a, bit, uh, on a bit of a journey so they can see like from, from space to space, there's a bit of a thread um, mm -hmm. going through some of them. Um, some, it, it's not always um, immediately uh, apparent what the thread is. Sometimes it could it could even be a joke or maybe just the the type of of um, work that they do could be yeah the general idea. But um, I I can see it I can feel it in most of the works I can feel the connection. But as I said I don't really like to talk about it because um hard for me for me to articulate. But I think if you go there and most people that I've spoken to also said this that. When you're there, you can really feel a thread between mm -mm. the young artists, between the the older artists, um, and totally from painting to sculpture. There's a common thread somewhere along, and I think you can really feel it. So, I'm happy when I get to hear that people do experience that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and they were able to hold up their own, no? Um, but for also uh, create that conversation. Um, I was wondering, Siguro, from a curator's um, uh, to to uh, focus more on the curatorial process. Um, in preparing for for the art fair this year, um, were there sessions where you had them all together in even in a virtual room in a Zoom meeting, so they they more or less know what they what the other artists will be will be working on, or did you talk to them separately? Yeah, um, no, most of them didn't actually even know who the other artists were. Ah, okay. I, think I may have mentioned one or two, but mm -mm. nobody mm -mm. had the complete list. Um, oh. So it is really an individual effort, um, mm -hmm. which really all came together at the end. Um, we were quite surprised, nothing really, how, how well it all blended together. Mm -mm. And, and the conversation was really fluent. Um, Nobody stood out in a weird way. Nobody stood yeah. out na parang hindi baga. Everything, uh -oh. everything was really baga. I mean, it's hard to imagine how, like, for example, Aza's work could be baga to Bjorn's work, which is quite yeah. <laughs> miles away. But somehow uh -oh. it, it all fits in. So it, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it must have been perfect. difficult for you to plan the layout um, in, in the space, which is... Um, big enough but then um kasi parang ano siya, no? uh, it, it, it's not a regular art uh, space but as you said it it fits the the, the physical uh, context of how we experience art yeah super pinahirapan talaga kami ni Ed Blackson <laughs> because a lot, a lot of the space especially the walls had mm -hmm. cut and it wasn't uh, uh -huh rectangular or square so mm, mm, mm. very you're, regular you're, if you're major oc major <laughs> but it's it actually works because um even the the architecture in the ayala center was echoed mm -hmm. by the by the shapes around you could see the, the the sun shades outside where the photo booths were were also kind of asymmetrical mm -mm. and it also echoed a lot of the work of the art actually but yes, it was, it was, I wouldn't say hard, hard, but it was a lot of fun and a bit challenging. Challenging. To, pos to position because it's important the flow of, uh, we didn't want to put mm. all the works in one side and all the mm. works, or we really wanted a good flow from all. So, and I'm oh. glad I think it happened. Okay. I'll let, let's uh, maybe Norman feel free to uh, ch uh, chime in no? if you have any questions also or uh, you want to add to what um, our artists will be saying. Siguro my first question um, to the artists uh, since we were talking about the setup now what were your um, uh, experiences no? your, your own um, experience in setting up um, your if you were there no involved in in the, the the actual installation, which I'm sure Joanna, Tiang, and Ace know, because your works were very site specific. 
uh, kay Melvin kasi mostly wall bound no so Melvin nandito ka ba nung um, hinahang yung kwan mo yung mga works were you involved dun sa paghang naka mute ka eh, Melvin can you unmute yourself uh, good afternoon good afternoon po ma'am good afternoon actually ano uh, hindi ako ano hindi ako yung physically na ano na involved sa paghang ng ano ng mm -hmm. trabaho Mga post ko yun, nakita ko na lang yung nakahang yung words nung ano, ng, uh, the day mismo na, no? uh, or before the opening ano, ng art oh. fair, which is so happy naman was... na ano, sa kinalabasan in time call po kay Sir Norman. Mm -hmm. Siguro yung si, si Chiang, Ace, and, and Joanna, no? um, what was it like working in that open space? No? Something that, that's not very common for you, but um, I guess for Tiang and Ace, um, ano, no, ma, uh, I, I like yung sinabi mo, Tiang, na kasi about street life, no, yung, yung work mo, pe, at dinala mo literally nasa kalye, no, sa may Ayala Avenue. Medyo, ano lang, contrast lang dun sa character that, that uh, you created, no. Sige, Tiang, gusto mong mag, ano, mag-share nung um, experience mo. Okay. Yung experience ko po sa space, parang ano siya, intuitive pa rin. Parang mm -hmm. spontaneous pa rin yung pag-place ng, kaba, ng meat store. Kaya yung meat store, uh, since mas malaki siya sa lahat, gusto ko nakapalo yung ilaw, kung saan nakapalo yung ilaw, kung saan may kita yung both sides. Kaya minsan yung, well, yung botika, hindi siya nakatalikod. So parang nakalusot pa rin yung ano, nakalusot pa rin yung, yung, Yung ano niya, yung window, para bang pinongshoy, parang medyo pinongshoy ko rin na parang ano, kung baga, kung saan yung ano, kung saan yung palo ng ila, kung saan pasok uh -huh. ng tao. Kasi din, uh -huh. dinirect din po ako ni Sir Norman na kung saan po yung labas ng tao. So parang uh -huh. sa akin po, um, kahit, kahit ano, um, structures po yung ginawa ko, ano pa rin po siya. Um, spontaneous pa rin po yung pagkakalagay since parang wala pong definite size po na binigay parang may definite size naman po pero parang naging spontaneous din po lahat. so parang para sa akin perfect po yung binigay ni Sir Norma na ano eh na, 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 oh, kasi parang ano lahat parang yung kung bagay yung mga artists parang nga sabi niya niya parang dinner table parang ang napunta po sa akin ako po yung panghimagas so parang mentors po, sila Yohana, sila Sir Melvin, Plate A, sila Karayom, and everyone else. Ganun po. So parang proud po ako sa ano, sabi ni Gay sa akin, parang sobrang happy po ako sa space ko. Yun po yung karanasan ko na ano, uh, may, an, an, wala, um, hindi ko po makakalimutan. <laughs> Magandang sinabi mo yung panghimagas kasi yung colors mo, no? yung, yung very candy colors. No? Um, AC Kao. So in your case, uh, kasi sanay ka na, you've had some similar ano, ano, installations, but what were the challenges this time? Um, at first, I didn't know how we will um, install it. But then Norman, I'm really grateful to Norman kasi he really made, made me relax. Usually, ang tanong kasi sa akin, parang ang hirap isabit ng trabaho mo kasi sana din ikakapit sa ceiling. So when they had the idea of the scaffolding, sabi ko, ah, okay, Madalina. But then when I got there, I saw the scaffoldings and they were so apart from each other. Sabi ko, wow, itatawid talaga yung nylon that far. So mm -mm. parang normal made me relax na, hindi, okay lang, kayang-kaya kaya, kaya yan, walang problema. So parang, uh, parang uh, usually kasi ang, sagot, ang tanong nila, paano yung tela magsus or, or yung fiber made into fabric? How can it uh, parang paano niya kakayanin yung strength? Yung, yung no? tensile strength parang pool, material. Yes, yes, no? yes. So par Pero Norman, so relaxed. Wala talaga siyang sinasabi. Parang he was so relaxed. And parang, oh, okay na. It will be, oh, okay na. Kaya, kaya. So parang, okay na siya. And then, I was there to actually assist him para in case lang may mga points na kailangan or kung mm -hmm. saan kasi meron siyang parang wire. Tapos, ayun, mm. he followed it and uh, yun lang. Nasa, it was his eyes that saw the yung flow from the taas to yung pagbaba niya and papunta doon. And 
Very, very nice siya. Transcendence talaga. I really felt the transcendence in the work. Thank you, thank you. Tinitignan ko ngayon yung mga photos no, of your work. Um, I think, ano nga, eh, parang maganda nga yung na-stretch, no? Kasi yung crocheted material lends to being stretched for a particular, ano, ano, um, to a particular extent. So, um, I, I guess na may mga, yung kinalabasan, um, siguro yung question na, yung kinalabasan ba, was it, uh, um, uh, did it, did it follow your original intent or may nabago ba na, uh, na unexpected? Wala po. We, it was really a surprise and a pleasant surprise. Mm-hmm. And usually sa installation, uh, laging masaya yung element of surprise kapag nakita mo na siya. But uh-huh. always, what I, what I parang, hindi naman expect. But then, there's this certain feeling na you are happy when you see it installed. Kapag nandun na yung feeling, uh, okay na siya. And yun, ganun, so I think it's the universe na parang may, mm-hmm. meron talagang nag-guide to, to help out in that. And yun. So parang super, ano siya, super easy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Johanna, sa'yo, especially yung, ano, yung um, candles, no, the installation work, which I, I, I have to say, compared to, I've seen a few, your, your other solo shows, which would always have a 3D uh, an object, a 3D element. Pero I think this time, uh, as you said, yung, yung approach mo sa installation mas, ano, eh, mas daring. No? Yes. So what uh, was your um, experience in working in the space? Um, sadly, overall, the art, it was more on trust than kay Sir Norman mm-hmm. and his creativity. Uh, more on ano na lang po, technicalities na lang yung chinect ko when I was there. So, tinignan ko if all of the candles were working. And uh, lahat kasi ng candles were had their individual plugs na kailangan pala na kasiris sila kapag nandun na, pag naka-display. So, we had to have yun know, electrical para ayusin yun na was provided by Art Fair. And everything went smoothly naman po. So, if, wala naman masyadong naging problem and yun nga, challenging siya kasi ito, it was run by power. Kailangan may, may kuryente. Tapos, very big pieces. Yung pag-travel nila from my studio to the Ayala oh, Tarangal. Sobrang, kailangan dahan-dahan. Ingat. Properly, ano naman, properly packed and ano naman, sila delivered well. And everything went well. I mean, so. Oh, sige, Norman, they're all happy with how you install their respective works. Any, ano, any, um, ano to, you, do you want to share anything? Uh, yung back, back stories? Wala, ano, ano, big tambalat. <laughs> no, um, yeah, uh, most of the time, I don't really require the artist to be there if they don't want to. Mm. Yeah, it's it's also the it's also the point of view of the I mean the, the whole installation is apart from the artist's point of view, it's also the point of view of the the art fair itself mm-mm, mm-mm. and my point of view as well. So, parang it, yeah, I try to thread the line between the work for everyone. I, I try to look at whenever I do a, an, an installation, I try to look at it from the artist's point of view. Will she will, will her ideas come out? Will, will so her works to the best advantage, but also at the same time, will the audience have fun looking at it? Can be into yeah. this? Is there enough space and that? And uh, will will one work intrude you know, on the other space too much? I mean, like mm. I said, I, I wanted to intrude a bit, but not too much. Not to the point that mm. na naman yung discard ng isa or yeah. will change. I mean, yun. and of course, in, as a general, you know, as a general. Uh, looking at it for a design point of view, like does it look good? Does it feel good for people? Mm. So, yun. so mm-hmm. I'm just happy that it all came together. Fun, did, the, fun. Ano, yeah, did, did the proto- protocols, health protocols, um, play uh, a significant part in your um, design of the space or your, your ano, layout? For, for, for me, uh, not particularly, but mm. just 
space that we are given in the first place. Yeah. I think for oh, the first time open there, we have a huge open windy. That's why we had to think mm -hmm. about the door. Um, so the sudden drop oh. of wind that blow down uh, one of the walls or that. And mm. uh, ang ganda the first time. So you can add. Um, you oh, can, gusto ko yung uh, weight. Yung, yeah. yung, oh, yung weights, di ba? Na, ano, na parang yeah. balde. Timba. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Uh, Norman, Another, Norman, medyo sorry. choppy yung ano mo. Oh, medyo sorry. choppy yung audio mo. Baka yung, yung uh, in, um, internet mo is, is maybe oh. you need to shift to another space or something. Oh, medyo choppy kay At least sa akin. No? Oh. Anyway, sige. Um, let's, uh, while listening to to the um, um, to each artist's ano no uh, sharing ang isang na, na parang napansin ko na common no dun sa sa inyong lahat na the idea that you uh, or at least part of your ano no your concept in this um, project um, started years ago and then you said na parang nagthank you nga kayo na you're you're given a um, Ano to, an opportunity no, by Art Fair Philippines and, and through uh, Norman's uh, ano to, invitation to be able to realize this project. Um, ganun ba kayo mag, mag plan, mag, mag, uh, ganun ba madalas yung, yung creative ano nyo, process nyo, yung tipong matagal, medyo matagal nagbubrew or merong mga ideas na hindi mo lang talaga ma realize kasi hindi pa tama yung opportunity or yung lugar or hindi pa hinog yung konsepto anyone Melvin ikaw uh, yes Melvin mo sa yon no uh -oh. thank you po ma'am magandang hapon sa lahat po mm -mm. Ah, sa akin naman ano uh, hindi ko naman tinitingnan na parang well of course uh, Una-una, happy-happy ako na ano, yung isa sa mga napili ni Sir Norma na, ano, na uh, mag-representa bilang isang artist isang so, uh, sa solo show, which is parang isang malaking karangalan ni sa akin. Kasi for the first time, parang yun, bilang isang ilonggo artist, mabigyan ka ng, ano, ng bigyan ka pagkakataon uh, na makapagpalabas ng trabaho mo, ng expression, uh, expression mo into the, uh, isang sa isang malaking intablado. Which is parang ano, isang malaking ano yon isang malaking challenge ni sa akin personally, you no? Know? But when it comes naman sa trabaho, kumbaga lahat naman na ginagawa ko parang ina, ano, nagpe-prepare talaga ako, no? Because only sa ano sa sa art fair na parang uh, uh, parang challenge kong sarili ko na kumbaga gagawin at uh, i-portray ko yung ano yung yung parang nasa tingin ko na mas may magandang ano uh, uh, impact no na makakonect mm -hmm. mismo sa tao sa viewers and also sa mga ano mga kapareho kong artist sa mga nakasabayan kong artist no uh, parang ano parang naisip ko na rin na no na parang isa nang isang malaking pagkakataon na rin na yung totally totally yung uh, sarili ko may papakita ko yung parang ano parang uh, totoong ako yung parang mm. realidad ng buhay ko na gusto kong buksan sa ano sa publiko sa isang malaking tablado yung matagal ko nang kinikimkim na sa loben yun mm -hmm. gusto ko lang ipalabas in parang ano uh, para rin makapagbigay ng ano ng liwanag sa iba makapagbigay ng ano ng makapag-educate sa fellow artist ko, sa makakita ng trabaho ko, sa tao. Yun, that's it. And, uh -huh. and siguro, ano, parang atat na rin ako na, ano, na uh, kung maga hanggang saan at uh, sa anong, ano, uh, kung maga hanggang saan na mararating ano, ng, ng, ng uh, works ko, when it comes sa, uh, sa material ko na ginagamit, no sa execution mm -hmm. ko sa aking trabaho yun parang ano parang gusto kong ma, ma feel totally kung ano yung ano paano i-accept ng tao yung trabaho ko 
Yan po. <laughs> Pero ang isang napansin ko rin sa mga sa trabaho mo kahit personal yung kwento. Ah, oh. It resonates doon sa yung like familial relationships, yung problema ng mga uh, pamilya ng OFWs. No? So, merong ganung kwa ni level no of of yes. uh, engagement, no? So, I am sure conscious ka rin doon sa ganung ano no uh, objective no yung intent na na para ipakita na pare-pareho yung dinadaanan natin no ng mga yeah. ano mga problema as a family as as, as individuals yes um, okay okay <laughs> sige Johanna and or anyone else um would sige. like to mm-hmm. um ano yung yung i yung concept ng candles it was originally written years a year ago tapos kasi nga big candle siya tapos big ano siya work siya i want gusto ko sana din siya nasa proper space so ang ang gagawin dapat for this art fair is yung ano metal pieces na malalaki na hindi kinaya ng production time so so ang nagback <laughs> nagback read ako sa mga lumang notebooks nagko-collect kasi ako ng notebooks tapos every idea doon sila nakabangko so baka plan, tingin ulit. Tapos yun na, go na tayo dito kasi ito yung mas Ayan, ma... Ayan, sorry, nawala. Okay. So, so yeah, may so, bangko ako nawalan kami ng kuryente yes. dito eh. Nawalan kami ng kuryente dito sa atin na yun. Sorry. Okay. So, may mga nakabangko so, na, na idea sa notebooks na nakolekt ako mm. through years. Tapos, dun yung laging, you know, takbuhan ko if if something goes uh-huh. wrong. <laughs> So, gano'ng kakapalang notebook na to? O kano, ilang notebooks Every year, na ba? Every year, meron. Ah, Since talaga? 2015. 2016. Mm. Uh-huh. Tapos, ano, isang notebooks lang sila. Kaya, isang isang type of notebook lang sila. Kaya, ang gano'n nila Alam. kapag naka-stack. <laughs> Tapos, nakalagay lang yung year. So, ano na yan, no? Ar- nasa archives mo na yan, eventually. Maganda na, ano. <laughs> What about AIDS? And, uh, AIDS ikaw, dun sa, ano, um yung pag-realize ng isang konsepto? For me, I really work with the environment and the current situation I'm, I'm in. So, at first talaga, I really had the Queen Project, which is um, exploring the public space talaga. But then, when the pandemic hit talaga, I was thinking, where is the public at the time of a pa- pandemic? Mm-mm. So, Mm-mm. parang, how can I go out and do my project? So, nawala yung... Um, na wala yung human element na, you know, the sense of touch, tapos yung communication natin with each other, and how we see each other through Zoom na lang, virtually. And everything shifted virtually talaga. So, I felt that um, siguro, since hindi pa siya ganun ka pwede during the two years, um, siguro dito ko binuhos lahat ng aking energies um, to make... Uh, to make a visual diary of my uh, journey to healing. And then my intent really, since I learned um, the teachings of Master Sha, I, my intent really was to spread or at least um, share the healing to others. And yun nga, so far with the discussions um, with random audience in the art fair, parang, sin- sinasab- parang medyo hinuhuli ko na tinatanong ko if, sana, sana merong healing na nangyayari. And so far, nag-agree naman sila. And I hope that the purpose uh, met, was met. Yeah. Thank you. Tiang, ikaw. Um, kasi yung, uh, ano to, uh, aside, uh, ano ba, nag, nag-fit ba yung, yung itong invitation na to dun sa matagal mo na, kasi ikaw yung isang naalala ko na nagsabi na matagal mo nang iniisip tong konsepto na to. Ano po, um, parang kumbaga parang sa akin, parang almost 10 years in the making siya. Kasi parang, kunwari kung tiyanong ako ni Sir Norman, 5 years ago, parang hindi ko magagawa yung gantong klaseng show. Parang, ano talaga, parang, parang destined talaga na yung space na ibigay sa akin para dun talaga sa show na yun. Kasi po, dati po, parang, 
na nagsisimula ako, ginagawa ko lang yung mga nasa loob ng tindahan, yung mga pakete, yung mga bote ng bote ng soft drinks na vintage, mga pinipaint ko po. So parang ngayon, dahil binigyan pa ako ng pagkakataon na bigyan ng ng space na pang malaki. So parang sabi ko, bakit hindi ako gumawa ng mismo lalagyan na ng mga ginagawa ko? So parang um, first day pa lang, parang alam ko na sa sarili ko na yun yung gagawin ko. And parang since mat- medyo matagal-tagal na po ako nag-woodwork, um, confident po ako sa sa nilabas ko po na parang ah, sa puso ko po, alam ko po na ano, na yun yung gagawin ko. Parang nung kinausap ko si Sir Norman nung una, parang sabi ko, I have, I have something in mind na. So parang ipapropose ko na lang, lulutuin ko na lang. So yun po, parang ano siya, parang yung dream, yun po talaga yung isa sa dream, ano ko eh, dream show ko, yung, yung sari-sari. Kasi parang, yun po, parang dun po ako namulat eh, yung parang lumaki po ako na, na bumibig sa tindahan, parang na-amaze na po ako agad sa mga sa mga visuals ng local packagings natin. So, parang ano, parang pagkakataon na din po talaga. Oh, gusto ko yung dito sa write-up, no? yung tingi culture. Kuhang-kuha yes. mo, no? Yung feeling ko nga parang nung pumasok ako, para akong papasok sa isang fair, yung perya. <laughs> diba? Na may kanya-kanyang stalls bago ka umabot dun sa mga rides. So, yun din po yung objective. <laughs> Sige, Norman, meron ka bang gustong idagdag tungkol dun sa mga yeah. trabaho nila, yung konsepto nila? I mean, for, for me, I think every every artist has um, a little a masterpiece in the back of their head, just waiting mm. to um, and as someone who's involved in the arts or doing shows, you know, you, you just have to uh, take it a bigger word or the, give them the right instance or or place where they can allow it to come out so i think for me very important um you know i don't know what the word is you make them gato or you you convince them to come up with certain certain works and ayun, parang, just, they all have a masterpiece waiting to come mm-hmm. out and i'm so happy that a lot of it came out for this particular show mm-hmm. yeah. so now to see it Um, from the first time we asked them to the final outcome, it's very heartwarming to see the work mm. that really came out. So, ang ganda. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Okay. Um, since this is an art, in the context of the Art Fair Talks, no, and it also focused on artistic practice, uh, I'd like to ask um, each artist no, to um, the question, um, what made you decide to pursue art practice full-time? I'm assuming na full-time artists kayo, no? Ngayon. Kasi at least parang yun ang, ano ko, Ace and, and Johanna, alam ko, you're, you're both full-time artists. Pero yun, um, um, ano yung, um, what made you decide to, to take that leap? Tapos siguro kung merong mga, meron kayong mga worries, no? Um, that you, you, that didn't um that prevented you from doing that earlier you no know, taking on uh working as a full-time artist ace ikaw because i ace you you were teaching before no um yes po. but uh, i never knew i was really making art until lirio salvador my mentor told me mm. that since nakita niya yung bags ko <laughs> he told because at first i really thought i was making craft Mm-mm. But I didn't have patterns, I didn't follow patterns, I didn't count. Uh, mm. So finally, when we reunited 15 years later after college, uh, sabi niya, you're, you're making art. Tapos I didn't understand that. So eh, I was already 33 years old. So parang medyo mas mapapanindigan ko na siguro siya. So I took that leap. And then uh, malaki yung tulong ni Lirio kasi we talked about We, we had uh, many conversations about art and him explaining to me what I was doing because I really <laughs> would know. Uh-huh. Um, so parang from there, sabi ko, this is so liberating. Mm-hmm. It's like, I am, uh, parang, parang dito ako, I belong here, ito ako. Uh-huh. Parang, I am so me <laughs> in this, in this situation. So sabi mm-hmm. ko, um, why not? So, 
that time, nagpalang pa ako sa daddy ko kasi very strict siya. So sabi ko, daddy, ito yung gusto kong gawin. Sabi niya, ano, mag-gansilyo? Sabi ko, yes. Tapos so, sabi niya, ha, mag-gansilyo ka for the rest of your life? What will happen to you? So syempre, yung daddy ko, businessman. So sabi niya, hmm. ano yun? Bakit? Hindi <laughs> niya maintindihan and no one in the family could, could understand. Then, years later, nung nakikita, pero they were supportive naman. Hmm. Uh, but then, years later, nung nakita nila, Ah, sabi ko, oh, Daddy, pupunta ako ng six months sa New York. Ha? Sabi niya, ha? Anong gagawin mo doon? Eh, di magkagansilyo. <laughs> so, sabi niya. Binalik mo. Ah, no? <laughs> yes. So, sabi niya, sa gansilyo, pupunta ka ng New York. Oh, sige. Oh, so, pinabayari na ako. Mm-hmm. Yun. Uh, the support of the family is always there naman. Mm-hmm. Uh, parang siguro, sabi niya, sa bagay, kung masaya ka naman, uh, kesa ginagawa mo yung hindi mo gusto, uh, it's better that I see you happy. Mm-hmm. So, I think nag-radiate yung happiness. And that's why I... I I really continued even if it was so hard mm-hmm. especially no fiber as a medium for the art mm-hmm. so difficult all the galleries 90% of the galleries I wrote um I wrote to them and uh, sent proposals everybody wala down ka <laughs> and meron pang isa brutal talaga sabi niya eh that's not art eh so sabi ko <laughs> ako then, ba yon you know, sorry hindi no 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> But but then, uh, parang if you really really like something, anything is possible, mm-hmm. and you will mm-hmm. really stay where you re- where your heart wants to. So parang siguro nagkaroon lang ako, siguro at 33 years old, ano parindigan ko siya kasi medyo siguro mas hindi na ako masadong masasway, meron na ako mm-hmm. sariling paniniwala. Mm-hmm. So yun siya. Um, if uh, I if I may share, I remember. Uh, when I was at CCP, nag-submit ka ng proposal, which actually we were considering, no? And then um, an input from our artist direct- director was, uh, which I I hope it was a comment that also pushed you. Um, because um, yung, yung sabi niya, yung works mo at that time, and I think this was early on, no? Um, was, was more craft yung dating. Tapos, and after that, I saw how your your works no um, changed to what it is now. No? So, um, siguro tama nga yung, yung, yung thinking mo na craft yung ginagawa mo nung umpisa. Pero because you were just starting to transition to, to art practice. No? So, and I'm, I'm really surprised with the kind of, the, 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 the change, no? the, the kind of works that you're doing now. So, Thank you yeah. so much, Ms. Boots. Uh, sinong gustong mag-share? Um, kailan kay, when did you decide to take that leap? Uh, Joanna? Pero um, bata pa kayo eh. Oh, sige. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it, it started nung, I, know, if I was 18 noon time na yun, na I was part of Studio 1616 and in opening Kuya Leonard Paras yung studio mm-hmm. niya. Mm-hmm. But in, and, tapos, no college also, we had a professor, na artist then, na mm-hmm. si Sir Eugene Harke. Mm-hmm. Na we attended, we attended their shows, we attended uh, Kuya Dex Fernandez's show, lahat ng alumni ng TUP na attend uh-huh. namin, and the rest of the artists ng time na yun, no college. So, nung, nung, I was in advertising major, sabi ko sa sarili ko, hindi, hindi ko to forte. Hindi, hindi mm-hmm. yung heart ko wala doon. So, for, no nag-start na ako mag-paint sa studio ni Kuya Leonard, na I was very thankful for my parents kasi 18 pa lang ako. Pia-piagan din ako mag-stay doon. Tapos, and then after college, nag-move out na ako sa bahay and rented own, my own space para gawin na siya. And, and, and ano na lang po eh, very instinct na lang, tsaka got <laughs> na trust mm-hmm. din na na ito talaga yung yung gusto ko gawin ito oh. talaga yung mas happy ako mas confident ako gawin so first ko na lang if kung ano mangyari uwi na lang ako sa ulit sa bahay if nothing mm-hmm. really uh, ano, I, I don't come up with something else to do with my life pero ito talaga eh ito talaga yung naging at, at ano, tuloy-tuloy ano meron namang uh, uh-huh. parang opportunities to, to show yes no, may uh-huh. mga invitations and also, yung sinabi ni Ms. Aze na a public space then can also be ano, a place for art. Very interested din ako doon na mm-hmm. hindi lang sa world galleries mm-hmm. yung pwede mong explore. So, so ve- ang daming possibilities, endless siya na adventure na gusto kong gawin until very old age. <laughs> 
Ikaw, Melvin, uh, kasama ba dyan ng music sa ano mo? Sa art yeah. practice mo? Kasi hawak-hawak mo yung gitara mo. Pang, pang pa-relax lang po yung ah, music. Okay, oo. <laughs> uh, ano pala yan? Uh, parang security blanket mo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sa akin naman kasi ano, uh, siguro ano uh, na-realize ko na no na na yung papasukin ko ng art kasi dati ano eh uh, way back nung elementary ako uh, parating sinasabi sa akin ng ano ng mga kaibigan ko teachers ko na parang parang loner ako palagi yung parang malalim yung kaligala kaligayahan ko hindi ako hindi ako basta-basta nagiging masaya sa kung anong nakikita ko anong nararanasan ko Well, dahil na lang siguro sa ano sa sitwasyon sa katayuan ng pamilya namin, ever since medyo magulo kasi, no, na sa hirap ng buhay. Mm-hmm. And then until pag ano ko ng ano ng high school, parang ganoon din ang pattern. Yung sa tingin ng ano ko ng mga kaibigan ko, teachers ko, parang pilate, parati akong kinakausap. Ah, uh, bakit ganyan? Parang hindi ka masaya, parang palagi may ko, may kulang. Yung mga sinasabi ko, parang <laughs> malalaman. And until pag-reach ko na, no, ng uh, college, nung nag-aaral ako ng architecture dito sa University, University of San Agustin. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, yun, parang pinaka-awakening point ko yung sinabihan ako na, no, ng professor ko na no, uh, siguro ano, kailangan mong mag-pause muna and then evaluate yourself kung ano ang gusto mong mangyari sa buhay mo kasi being an architect being an architecture student kailangan ma PR ka eh kailangan mm. uh, may kapag deal ka may kapag pausap pausap ko sa ibang sa, sa tao you know in order to represent yourself and to market yourself your design so doon yung realization ko nga o nga parang parang may kulang parang may gusto akong gawin sa buhay ko na parang yung parang yung sa lahat ng nangyayari sa akin from maliit pa ko hanggang nakatapak ako ng kolehiyo parang parang sasabog yung parang naisip ko sa sarili ko na ano na para kung masisiraan ng ulo no ah uh, yun finally sabi ko okay uh, kailangan kong ano kailangan kong ipalabas kung ano yung yung uh, gusto kong gawin kasi parang feeling ko na na ano yun eh, parang nakukulong ako sa sarili ko sa mm-hmm. sarili ko parang may gusto akong gawin na kung ginawa ko naman siya, parang yun lang, parang napaka-superficial sa na parang at that moment lang na ginawa ko, parang yan ako na masaya, tapos wala na. So parang tingin ko sa sarili ko, parang walang kabuluan yung buhay ko. O parang ano, yung, yung, yung fulfillment, yung total na, total na, ano, na, na, na nakaligayan, parang hindi ko may experience yung parang may maraking bahagi talaga sa buhay ko na ano na na nakulang na kailangan kong ano no kailangan kong punuin so yun uh, nag-decide ako na ano na pasukin talaga yung yung yung, yung art and then uh, i-share ko kung ano may yung karanasan ko yung nang nakikita ko mga nangyayari personal sa buhay ko yun yung pala yung kulang na kailangan ko ilabas kasi parang palating may parating kulang eh parang hindi ko nakikita yung sarili ko na ako yung alam mo yung yung parang hindi ko nakikita yung sarili ko na nasa office hindi ko nakikita yung no, sarili ko ng malaking malaking <laughs> lugar na napapalibutan ng no malaking tao so yun parang gusto ko na sa tabi lang ako na parang nagigisa ako ano nagigisa ako <laughs> radio at television na magaipapakita ko man yun. yung na experience ko uh, interesting yung parang, sinabi mo na ano na nagsimula ka sa ano architecture parang hindi yeah. ko maiimagine yung how paano mo ma, matatranslate yung mga ideas mo in architecture talagang swak na swak dun sa ano mo sa ginagawa yeah. mo na ano ano fiber uh, ano fabric. Uh, siguro si Tiang, let, let's uh, have um, Tiang's ano, um, answer to that question. Bale, ano po, um, kolorong ako eh, hindi ako ano, wala akong formal training ng ano, hindi pa ako nakapag-fine arts. Bale, ano po ako, 
Um, graduate po ako ng mass communication sa University, University of Perpetual Health System, Delta. Sa, my, sa local university po sa amin. So, ano po, um, para sa akin, medyo late bloomer po ako eh. Parang 18 years old ako nung bigla na lang gusto ko na, ay, gusto ko magpinta. So, parang out of the blue, um, parang mahilig ako mag-paint. Tapos, medyo huli na yung lahat para mag, ano, mag-shift sa fine art. So, tinapos ko siya for my parents. Tinapos mm-hmm. ko yung, ano ko, yung, yung degree ko. So, after nun, Ang related sa art yung ano yung work ko. Nung gumraduate ako, um, graphic design, nagtrabaho po ako sa auction house hanggang sa noong 2014, 24 years old ako noon. Doon po ako nag-decide na ano, gusto ko na po mag-freelance. So parang ano, um, nung alam ko na yung yung ano ko, nung alam ko na yung style ko sa as an artist, parang doon ako, binigyan ko na lang ano, yung sarili ko na parang, ano, binigyan ko na lang freedom yung sarili ko na gawin yung mga gusto kong gawin, um, makita yung mga gusto kong makita, yung maramdaman yung gusto kong maramdaman. So, parang, um, na, kasama ko yung family ko, so parang yung family ko kasi, parang 9 to 5 job, so hindi na naiintindihan yung work ko. So, parang, hinayaan lang din nila ako, parang, Kahit ano, gusto nila ako ng ibang karera, parang hinayaan lang nila akong um, i-pursue yung, ano ko, yung career ko as an artist. So parang ano, parang hanggang ngayon, um, at the age of 32, parang naramdaman naman nila na yung kumpiyansa ko as an artist na hindi sila nagkamali, na hindi nila ako pinush sa iba or hindi nila ako binigyan ng na hindrance na gaganon. So, parang ano, parang ayun, parang sa akin, parang hindi siya naging mahirap. Di katulad mm-hmm. sa mga, mga, mga kaibigan ko na parang nadadown sila na na bakit walang support ah, sa family, ganon. So, parang mm-hmm. ako, isa ako maswerte na ano, na nila lang na hinayaan ako. Siguro dahil matigas yung ulo ko kasi <laughs> kasi <laughs> Siyempre, parang may sarili tayo ng utak na ah, nagawin yung gusto kong gawin. Pero, ayun, parang nakita ko naman na proud yung mother ko, yung kuya ko, mm-hmm. family ko na ano. So, ayun, naiintindihan naman nila kung, kung nasaan ako ngayon na, na gets naman na nila. Ayun mm-hmm. po. <laughs> I think yung mga kwento nyo, ano, no, um, will give inspiration to to young artists, uh, especially those who are parang nagdadalawang isip pa if they will be pursuing uh, this this ano no this uh, track. Uh, let me just go to some questions. Merong tatlong sa- Sorry, tanong, no? Ah, yes, yes, uh, yes, Norman. Uh-uh. Sorry, I think we're all really very lucky to be in the art world at this moment because I feel. Mm. Like- we're really in a, I think, in a golden age of art, art, art for art making and artists. But more so, it's also a golden age of art collecting. And mm. I think we've never had so many galleries before. And we've never had so and many collectors. collectors. Uh-huh. It means that artists can actually make a living now. Mm. Mm-hmm. Only artists now can actually make a living, not just the lucky five or ten, but actually, you know, 30, 50 people, 50, 50 artists can make a pretty decent living. Mm-hmm. Then uh, another 200 artists or 300 artists can probably make more than minimum minimum wage every every month. So it's, I think, like before, diba, when you start, I want to be an artist, you go, oh, let's see, oh, where did it go wrong? What's the problem? But now it's really a legitimate career, and I'm happy for everyone. Uh-huh. I mean, now you can see a few yeah, artists uh, driving around in sports cars, diba? So, it's a good time to be an artist. <laughs> Pero sana rin yung, ano, no, yung collectors will also be as um, daring, experimental in, in their um, acquisitions um, and and be open to works that are um, not the traditional kuhan, ano, um, forms. Uh, like Ace is saying, no, yung uh, ang hirap pa rin yung I I think um, ang maganda kasi merong non-commercial platforms for practices like this, but also um, for them to continue and then further uh, evolve, no, develop. It would be um, good to for for 
for collectors because they're they're relatively still um ano eh, uh, conservative no sa sa pag pag acquire so siguro yun ding um i i think an, uh, the the platform of an art fair like this no giving giving featuring uh different practices is is important Sige, I think uh, we need more public art spaces. Yeah, public art spaces. I yes. think, um, yeah, maybe the future politicians after this coming elections, they should consider making like a, a, a little prevent provincial museum in their own mm-mm, town. It would be great, diba? for yeah. So people can have a good look at uh, art from their region and some also from the whole thing. Tignan natin ang mga a platform <laughs> ng mga ano, Uh, local and and national officials when it comes to to an uh, art and culture. Anyway, let's go to uh, some questions. Um, si Russell Trinidad, sino ba to? No, ito ang tanong niya. Ano po ang mas mahirap? Maganda yung tanong eh. Ano po ang mas mahirap? Ang simulan ang piyesa o tapusin ito? Naintindihan ko yung ah, hindi ako artist pero I can imagine, no? Um Salamat po at congrats sa inyong lahat. Ang gagaling po ng mga likha nyo. Nakaka-inspire. Grade 3 na bata. Yun ang nag-sign. Pero hindi. Si ano. So, uh, A, si Kao. Mas mahirap po magsalita dito. <laughs> ah, mas mahirap magsalita. Akala ko ano, medyo relax nga tayo. Eh. Ano yun? Yung mas mahirap ba tapusin o simula ng isang piyesa? Uh, for my work as a fiber artist, parang mahirap po yata malaman kung kailan matatapos. I even have a... <laughs> kasi pwede mo siyang ikabit ng ikabit ng ikabit mm-hmm. na lang. Tapos pwede hindi na rin siya matapos. So I, re- I, I actually have a piece entitled Ma- Karanasan. Ito yung piece mm-hmm. na mamamat- uh, matatapos lang when I die. And then I want it Uh-oh. exhibited at my funeral. So yun siya. So I think oh. mahirap siyang sagutin. <laughs> so it's, it's a work in progress. So. Yes. Tiyang sa'yo, uh, mah- anong mas mahirap? Magsimula o magtapos? Uh, para sa akin po yung gitna. Mm. Yung para, syempre, yung pisa kasi, ako kasi labor intensive yung gawa ko. So, ako, excited ako mag woodwork, excited ako mag- Hagyan sa gitna, yung parang patapos ka na hindi, yung parang bigla na lang ako maiiyak na, yung parang, alam kong confident ako sa sarili ko, pero, alam mo yung may doubt. Kasi parang, uh, yeah, yeah. syempre, desensitized na tayo sa ginagawa natin, parang, parang araw-araw pagising ko, araw-araw ko may kita, araw-araw kong naaamoy yung pintura, mm-hmm. parang ano po, parang may doubt sa gitna na parang tama ba tong ginagawa ko? Ano ba to? Ano magugustuhan ba nila to? Yung parang may uh-huh. ganun po, pero, no? Yes po, yung parang syempre may plateau tayo kahit minsan. Mm-hmm. So parang and pero at the end of the day, parang push through, power through, parang be minsan si sabi ko sa ko be yourself yung parang kaya ka nandito kasi meron kang meron kang objective, meron kang goal, parang ang um, mapasaya yung mga tao, mag-inspire. So parang yun, yun po yung yun po yung nagpapa yung nagpapa init ng dugo ko, yun po yung pag nagpapa excite sa akin. So at the end of the day, pag natapos ko siya, parang ano rin, yung parang nag yung parang ano, yung parang nawala ka sa ano, naging free ako nung natapos ko, yung parang ang tawag nito um price siya. Price siya para sa akin. Ah, na parang, okay. Uh-oh. Ano, parang isa siyang treat na matapos and makita na, ay, kaya ko pala to. So, parang, ano siya, um, what a ride. Reward, reward Masya, siya. Yung reward po. Mm-mm. So, parang yun, parang, what a ride. Sobrang Mm-mm. laki, sobrang grabe yung, parang roller coaster yung nangyari sa akin. So, ayun nga, dahil si Russell yung nagtanong, parang, <laughs> dahil, ano, close friend ko siya. So, parang nakakapusap <laughs> nakakausap ko siya parati. So, parang minsan nag-iiyakan kami. Parang, Bex, ano ba to? Tama ba yung ginagawa? <laughs> yung parang malapit na ganyan. So, parang mm. ano, hindi, alam kong hindi lang ako yung nakakaramdam nito. Parang, syempre, mm-hmm. prestigious yung, ano eh, yung show, prestigious yung place. So, parang ano, kailangan ibigay ko yung, ano, ibigay ko yung makakaya ko para, ano mo yun, parang, para sa akin din na ano, parang milestone din po kasi sa akin na mapabilang sa hanay. So parang hmm. ano, yun, napapasalamat talaga ako. <laughs> yes, sir, Norman. Sige. Uh-huh. 
Ayun po. Melvin? Thank you, thank you, Chan. Melvin, ikaw. Uh, yes po. Ano yung mahirap? Sa akin, naman, sa akin naman kasi, ano, parang mahirap tapusin yung yung katapusan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kasi para sa akin, as, ano, as, as, habang, ano, uh, gumagawa ko, parang bawat piyesa ko kasi, ano, eh, parang, parang tinitingnan ko as a whole. Parang kabuuan ng, ano, ng, ng life story ko as an artist. Well, hindi ko alam kung hanggang you know, hanggang saan hanggang kailan ang katapusan no but in particular go, siguro sa isang pyesa ano mahirap talaga yung pag sinabi mong ano eh, tapos na yung tapos trabaho na. Uh -huh. oh yes o, kasi ano eh mahirap kasi sa akin personally mahirap kasi ano eh uh, hanapin yung fulfillment sa trabaho ko yung 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 happiness na mibigay ng trabaho ko para ating may kulang hmm. yung parang tipong Ah, uh, pag, ginag pag ginawa mo na siya. Well, of course, before ka mag-start, alam mo na ang inspirasyon, yung idea ng trabaho, yung story ng trabaho. Pero sa proseso habang ginagawa mo, parang kalating, parating may kulang, no? Mm -hmm. Yung parang alam mo habang habang nabubuhay ka, habang gumagalaw gumagalaw ka sa buong uh, buong mundong ibabo, nandoon nandoon parati yung misteryo ng buhay. Yung parang hindi mo hindi mo matapos-tapos parang hindi mo makuha-kuha. Yun, parang yun kasi palagi tinin, ang tingin ko sa trabaho ko, parang parating may kulang, no? Parang kasi as a whole, parang traba, ang trabaho ko, parang nagiging ano eh, nagiging part ng sarili ko sa whole. Oh. Yun. A so, ang lalim ng hugot ninyo actually do <laughs> sa tanong ni A ni ano eh, ni Russell, no? Um, yung yung pag umpisa o pagtapos ng isang artwork pero sa inyo, buhay nyo kasi yun, eh, no? That's how yeah. you see it. Joanna? Sa show na to, ay, na-experience ko both. Sa painting, ano, mahirap siya umpisahan. Pero, mm. pag nasa process na siya, yun na yung pleasure. Sobrang uh -huh. saya niya gawin. And then, sad na, pagtapos na, kasi, wala na. Uh -huh. <laughs> Gusto mo pa. Tapos, sa, susunod, sa ano naman, sa resting naman, Mahirap siya tapusin kasi production ang hirap. Kailangan ko laging may tulong. Tapos yung smell niya, resin niya, yung chemical siya. Tapos ilang beses na akong napaso ng, ng hardener ng resin. Tapos <laughs> makate siya sa kamay. Yung, yung, yung mahirap uh, yung, tapusin. Yung, ano, yun ang kwan, yung, uh, ano mm, to? Um, hazards of the, mm, ano, mm, the trade. Uh, pero overall naman. Mm -mm gitna yung pinaka gusto ko ano yung yung buong process na habang ginagawa siya yung pinaka masaya that tsaka rin kaya bakit malalaki yung gusto kong gawin uh -oh. kasi yun yung pinaka masaya gawin masarap gawin kasi matagal hmm. siya matapos uh, i <laughs> so, think the scale of the candles actually work doon sa ano eh doon sa with the with the paintings okay let let me just proceed with the um ito norman sa iyo to na question no it's from Lorene Liwanag. Uh, a few years back, I organized a group of artists to do a group exhibit on gender norms. I didn't realize in the process I was sponsoring projects or maybe getting into curation. My advice po ba kayo, Norman, for people who are interested in introducing artists or exploring discussions through art? Uh, um... <laughs> I think I'm the wrong person to ask that. No, I think the, the, your think... experience here yeah. no, um, gives you <laughs> some insights. Dun sa ano. Yeah, I, well, oh, how do you answer that? Um, yeah, because I'm not, well, I'm not an official curator because I don't really, I didn't really study for it, so I don't really know what it entails, but I guess you just have to follow your instincts and talk to the artist and... Mm -mm. Um, get try to understand what yeah. you and how you can present it to people in a nice. Mm -hmm. I guess that's sorry. Uh, which is really very important, no? Yung, what you said earlier, yung understanding the artist's work and intent, and it's not all about you as curator. It's about um, diba bringing presenting their their works yes, individually you, uh, and as a whole, no? Put yourself in. Uh, between the viewer, the artist, mm -hmm. even the organizer, or, or, yeah. or mm -hmm. uh, whoever's presenting art, um, you just have to yeah, be in the middle and 
try to make try to do what you feel is right. Mm-mm. Even yung decisions uh, pertaining to logistical matters, those are actually very big, ano, uh, important uh, decisions that you can make to support artists. No, um, hindi pwedeng uh, papabayaan mo yung artist to, to do that. No, kasi that's the task of the uh, curator. No, yung yung logistical administrative uh, matters. No, so. Which I yeah, think um, we're working. Gonna yeah. with, we're gonna be with the people. I Mm-mm. think from to the end, um, that's of the production and the installation. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's not not so fun part, but still. But equally important. I mean. Yeah, yeah. Very, very important. Uh-oh. Very important. Because mm-hmm. the right elements have to come together at the right time. In maunay yung ganito atas wala naman. Um, for me, all the way down to the music and to the lighting, all very Mm-mm. important. So, yeah. yeah. Sige. Thank you. Uh, okay, another question. May isang question dito kasi para sa art fair organizers, no? Um, possible din kaya ang art fair Philippines ay gagawin sa ibang lugar. For example, Visayas, Mindanao region. I can't really speak for the organizers, but um, I believe there has there have been a, a number of recently, no, yung yung um like Viva Excon is 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 like an art fair in a way no uh, but perhaps in a different um ano to um may, may different elements na, uh, na na ano no na dagdag pa pero um local artists um or artists outside of Metro Manila I think has been very active no uh siguro it's a matter of having an organizing entity you know, to bring them together. So, yeah, maybe um, Tyrone Espinosa, you can um, encourage you know, yung mga, mga art um, enthusiasts or patrons to, to put together. Because art fair organizers are actually started as, as patrons, collectors, and then they felt na it, um, yung yung kailangang i-develop yung market no ng ano ng local art okay maricon um asks gusto ko lang po malaman ano po yung feel nyo ngayon ah the last day na ang art fair okay <laughs> oh sorry uh, medyo overtime na tayo no so siguro mga quick ano lang um uh, answers if you want siguro norman ikaw as as Ikaw kasi yung talagang ano nando no sa space from the start. Actually, it's never over because I'm already thinking about next year. So, ah, okay. Yeah, so I mean, when one thing ends, then the other one begins. It continues, someone. But Uh-oh. I'm super happy about the outcome of this one, and now I'm in the scared face for the next one, if ever. <laughs> ah, para ang hirap uh, ibalik uli sa lob, no? Hindi ko alam. I don't know what the plans will be. Yeah. So, uh, it's yeah. exciting. Wait for, let's wait for, wait for the next plans. And like, the uh-huh. art, like Art Basel, pwede naman, doesn't have to be lang in Manila. It can be also... In, in just one, ano, ano, one space. It can grow to other places as well, I guess. Organizers are up to it. Mm-mm. Okay. Um, may, yung mga artists, ikaw, Ace, lalo na yung sayo, kasi... Talagang literally pag binaba mo mag-iiba yung kwan ano yung configuration nalulungkot ka ba ano feel mo ngayon na patapos na naka mute ka is ah sorry I remember po si si Norman I sent him a photo of the work uh, na naka-box sabi niya it looks innocent in that box no <laughs> <laughs> Kasi ang liit niya sin parang Uh-oh. dalawang balikbayan box Uh-oh. lang kasi na siya doon pero pag yung pag- nilabas mo siya talagang malaki na siya. Um, okay naman. Okay lang. I think uh, nandun yung transcendence, yung transcendent mm-hmm. feeling talaga yeah. of negative to positive. So, okay lang. Tanggap ko naman. Let mm-hmm. it go. It's okay. Hindi <laughs> naman pwedeng permanent. No? Meron yes. bang closing party mamaya? Baka mer- oh, meron ba? Oh. Anyway, the, another question. Siguro we'll end with this one. Um, yung... Uh, Siguro yung kay Alkaina medyo mahaba yung mga sagot ng mga artists siguro for this we don't have time no we can send it to to them and they will ano they can answer no send you their reply siguro yung last is my art piece 
po ba na wala na sa'yo na gusto mong bumalik? At bakit? Mm-hmm. Meron ba? <laughs> Or letting go na lang, di ba? That, that's part of ano, no? creation. Any any particular work that... that um, yes, Ace. Parang mahirap siya kasi parang mga anak mo siya eh. You give mm, birth mm-mm. to the works talaga. So parang pag nawala siya sa'yo, it seems like may anak ka na nawala. But at the same time, you have to let them go. <laughs> you also have to let them go. You need them to help you. So mm. I'm at that point, so... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Letting go tayo. <laughs> Joanna, ikaw. And there, ano, there are... Uh, meron. Well, there are works na masaya ka na ini-enjoy ng ibang tao yon. Mm. And at the same time, meron ding works na I keep for myself every mm. solo exhibition. Oh. And it's ano, it's not only for myself, it's for my family. For them to mm. enjoy mm. and to pass on to the next. Mm-hmm. To the next. <laughs> Melvin, ikaw, meron ka bang trabaho na gusto mong bawiin? In other words, yun yung ano eh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sa akin naman, maman, uh, yung feeling talaga na ganyan, ando naman pala parati. But uh, sa punto na parang uh, ilit go mo na yung trabaho, yung tinitingnan ko rin na yung positive na impact nyo, yung considering na mm-hmm. nakakunik yung tao, yung collector mismo na kumuha ng trabaho, parang ano eh, mm-hmm. parang rewarding at the same time parang victory mo na rin na somehow uh, may taong nakakonekta sa ano sa ginagawa mo sa buhay na gusto mong i-share i- share sa slide anyway yan na lang naman yan naman talaga yung ano yung yung uh, pinaka sole purpose naming mga artist no mm. yung happiness na may share namin yung trabaho namin mm. uh, yun sige sa out yan meron na Thank you, Melvin. Siguro, siguro sa akin ko, parang yung sinabi ko ni Ate Is na parang ano, parang pinanganak mo siya. So parang, kung bagay yung mga, yung mga namimiss namin na mga artwork, parang sabi natin nasa college na, gano'n. Okay, nasa, nasa ibang pader na siya. So parang, para sa akin, kung meron man akong gustong artwork, ayoko siyang nakatago lang na nasa storage lang. Mas gusto ko siyang nakikita ng ng tao. So parang para sa akin, parang ano move on din na parang it's nice nice knowing you gano yung parang masaya ako nang ginawa kita. Sana masaya yung yung nag-acquire sa iyo. Sana naalagaan ka gano po parang happy ending naman po lahat hmm, sa mga ending. Sige. And on that note, um maraming salamat uh, for this afternoon's conversation. And also, congratulations to all of you, um, and including Norma. No, really, um, um, it, it's it's actually um, as, uh, when I visited last Saturday, kahit sandali lang ako at mainit, parang na-enjoy ko yung kwan, yung, at saka yung variety nung, nung mga trabaho. Pero at the same time, as you said, parang nasa dinner table sila, nag-uustapan na minsan sabay-sabay nag, nag-uusap, no? yung ganong ganong scenario so congratulations to all of you um, I'd like to call on Dindin to join us um, for a uh, a group photo before she closes the session okay um, who's uh, Therese are you uh, no, calling hi out, uh, yes okay. good afternoon Sige, everyone you. please give us your biggest smile Three, two, one, smile. One more. Three, two, one, smile. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We'd like thank to you guys. thank everyone. Um, uh, Johanna, Melvin, Tiang. Thank you. Uh, thank you to Boots and Norman who have really have always been integral to shaping the art fair. Thank you very much. Uh, We'd like to also acknowledge her education partners for Art Fair Philippines Talks Program, Ateneo Art Gallery, Museum Foundation of the Philippines, and the Embassy of Philippines, Embassy of Spain in the Philippines. Uh, uh, this afternoon at 4 p.m., we have a tour uh, through a film of the 
different artists in the Baguio visual arts community.